Hello everyone, I would like to apologise for my audio in advance. Yeah, I'm apologising already, because I didn't know after I watched the video the audio would be actually horrible, so I just, yeah, I'm here. I'm here at this very start of the video to apologise for the audio. I still hope you enjoyed the video though, yeah. Thank you. Hello everyone, so, you know, uh, if you're a viewer of my channel, you know, back in March, I made a video this video and since I have a UV light pen now I will review the same banknotes once again so yeah I've got them up again I've just stacked them based on the size so it might not really be how it went in the video itself but I will just uh, review them one by one so let's start with the top one which is the $5 note from Australia so can see Queen Lizzie there, but uh, we're here to check the security features. I mean, we're here to check the UV features, which is the cool one. Now, uh, there's nothing really much on the Australian dollar. There's a bird in the front, however, which is also the bird featured at the banknote itself, which is the bird up here. That is an Eastern Spinebill. The back just features the date. Yes, I've checked these loads of times. The back just features the date, that's it. This is the same for the $10 note, I don't know why I still pulled this out, but I, I don't know. I'll just show to you the different kind of bird. And then this one is also the date. This one says 2017. Also, even without using the UV light, you can determine the date of its production. So you can see the first two numbers in the serial number can see the number there, it says 17, it's made in 2017. Over here it says 16, it's made in 2016. So that's one way to determine uh, when a note is made. Now let's move on to the next currency, which is the Maldivian Rufia. Maldives is a country uh, in the Indian Ocean, and you may have heard about Maldives, it's a really beautiful country. I've seen their capital, Malé. Uh, only in Google Maps and it's a small island and there's a lot of buildings there I am fascinated by how it works anyways the front uh, features the denomination it says number five and I think the football right there so like fires and flames or whatever uh, to make it look cool based on what I've seen in other YouTube videos the back has nothing yeah the back has nothing So we've, we've also seen this, but there's nothing in here. This, however, the Indian rupees, the the security metallic strip, they light up uh, in yellow. This is I'm just gonna show it, but just gonna show the bird of it. So you can see it lights up in yellow. You can see it from the back as well. There's some of these small squiggly lines that appear there. Yeah. Okay, so this is the 100 um, Pakistani rupees. Now, it's just the same again with the security strip or lines. I can see it's uh, being green and blue again. I think if we turn to the back, we'll see more. There we go. It's green and blue. There's these small threads again. Now moving on here, okay we can see the line again, different color, okay this one featured the denomination and the line again in different color, it's nothing much, okay this one lights up, the, 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 what do you call this, the serial number lights up, I've got the other old ones as well from Indonesia, these are from 2016. They have a massive 2022 upgrade. The details at the back is the the thing at the back is more detailed, as you can see right here. But in the new one, it's more detailed. So I think there should be something appearing in here. I think I just use a different type of UV light. That's why there's nothing that's appearing. 
I am so sorry to disappoint my Indonesian viewers, but the uh, uh, serial number does light up though. Now moving on to the last, which is the uh, Nepalese rupee. So in total, we've, we've had four rupees in here, four currency named rupees: Libyan rufia, Indonesian rupiah, uh, Pakistani rupee, Indian rupee, and lastly the Nepalese rupee. Okay, that's five. So, how are they? Uh, how are they related? Uh, exactly. Well, they come from the word meaning. They come from the word rupya, from Sanskrit, which means gold, and that's where they got the name from of their currency. There's actually some countries in Africa that use uh, rupee as their currency. One of it being Mauritius. I think or Seychelles yep I think Seychelles and Mauritius as you can see it just says 100 there and over here at the very top of the Everest of the Mount Everest you can see 100 once again but it's written in the I don't know Nepalese numbers <laughs> I don't know what you call them but most of these notes I have from the Indian subcontinent they seem to write the numbers in their local script. Now what I also love about the Indian notes is that at the back they have um, they have the denomination in every language. I'd love to visit India someday to get more of these pink notes. I think in India they have the, a shop where you can buy loads of pink notes which is cool I guess. I mean I've been seeing channels from India where they've got a whole bunch of banknotes they got a whole stack so get this a whole stack of banknotes to sell I don't know where they're getting this hopefully it's not an illegal type of thing but I would like to buy this someday they've got even they, they've even got notes from the UK from they even got Scottish notes Scottish UK notes yes Scotland's make Scotland make their own notes I think I haven't seen them have a euro they do have New Zealand notes too as well. They got every currency I think. They even have the new 1000 peso bill which is if you fold it it's useless but I I think the government has patched that issue. Now you can fold it do whatever you want with it. I mean I've folded it before. They still accepted it. I don't I don't get it but like We've made our money into plastic and we're careful with it. But when it was paper, we were so just uncareful with it. We were so not careful with it. Are, are we going the opposite way or something? Anyways, in Australia, who which made the plastic make notes, they folded themselves. So I don't really know. But in Maldives, when they released it the first time, when, when they released these plastic notes for the first time, I actually uh, saw in their website that you shouldn't fold the notes and just keep it straight but I've seen a video of a Maldivian, Maldivian, Maldivian man just you know folding the note over his, then, uh, his hand and then just counting it like that sucks so, yeah anyways this is the video for now hopefully you like this video and you find it cool maybe if you have a dollar or whatever currency at home you, you get a yeah, one of these UV lights. Well, I really know we can buy this, but I've bought this from my local Mr. DIY shop. I think that those shops are only exclusive to Southeast Asia. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.